Hey everybody, this is Matt with remove-malware.com and it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, at least a week. And um, I want to go ahead and talk about uh, the smart screen filter found in the new Internet Explorer 8. Um, now, as everyone knows, Internet Explorer 8 has always been ragged on because it's been uh, full of holes and uh, the most exploited browser on the Internet. But Microsoft's always trying to make it better, and this time around, they've uh, really improved things greatly. Um, it's got a lot of functionality. I'm not going to talk about all the extra functionality Internet Explorer 8 has. I'm just going to talk about the smart screen filter, in particular the anti-malware support and the smart, smart screen filter. Uh, I have a little snippet from the uh, developer blog, the MSDN developer blog, talking about smart screen. And I'm just going to read it real quick. It says, smart screen's reputation-based analysis works in concert with other signature-based anti-malware technologies like their uh, malicious software removal tool, Windows Defender, and Windows Live One Care in order to provide comprehensive protection against malicious software. I've tested this two or three times, and it's been uh, pretty amazing. I've caught 90% of uh, malicious uh, executables and 100% uh, of website redirection type exploits. Um, so, I got I have a few URLs here, um, and I'm going to go ahead and test this out. And basically, all I did is download Internet Explorer 8, I installed it, and that's it. I didn't configure it at all. So, let's go ahead and start testing right away here. I've got 10 URLs. We're going to see what we can catch. Um, I just grabbed them at random, and um, I'm going to go ahead and count this as a block whenever you see this. This website wants to run the following add-on, Microsoft Data Access. If you trust the website, then the add-on and the add-on, uh, you can go ahead and click here to run it. Well, if I look up here, Internet Explorer 8 uses domain highlighting, and I can see that this is a random website of just letters. Dot cn. No offense to the Chinese, but they have a lot of malware hosted on Chinese, uh, you know, Chinese-based websites. So I'm going to say I don't trust this site, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, just just close it. So I can just close the browser if I wanted to, or I can just go back. Safest way to go is probably just close your browser. Okay, this is a weird one. This is a random blogspot domain. I don't see too many infected blogspot um, domains out there. And this redirects me to another Chinese-based website. It wants to run some additional add-ons, and then it's probably going to drop a cookie on my computer and wants me to buy something at Newegg so that they'll grab a commission. Pretty smart. So I'm sure I have some someone's cookie. Uh, let's go for number three here. This is just a redirect to an exploit, I believe. And kind of shrink up the browser a little bit on me. Let's see if anything's loading in the background. You can usually see stuff start to load. Nothing really that I see, at least. Uh, it wants to run that following add-on stuff. I could just close the browser if I wanted to. Open up another browser. And let's continue on to uh, to URL number four. Looks like another exploit to me. Now, if this was Internet Explorer 6, um, I'd go right through it. You'd be getting all these exploits. This computer has no antivirus, by the way. Another exploit. Internet Explorer 7 may catch some of it. I don't know. I've never really tested. It's not necessarily a feature of smart screen. It's just a feature of some of the um, security in IE8. Default security. This is an actual Trojan. And it's going to start downloading this Trojan. If I click Run, 
It says this download has been reported as unsafe. You can disregard and continue to download this file or report this download as safe. Um, we're just going to go ahead and say cancel. Now I'm assuming this is coming from the Microsoft uh, malicious removal tool or OneCare or Windows Defender. I'm not sure where they're getting their signatures from. I guess maybe all three. They don't really specify. I keep bringing that up. All right, let's move on to number six, which is another Trojan, it looks like. Okay, finds this one as well. Like I said, keep in mind, this computer has no antivirus on it. This is strictly Internet Explorer 8 using its signature-based anti-malware to detect these. Okay, nothing on this guy that I can tell. Well, wait a second. My network card just went kind of crazy. Yeah, nothing I can see. All right, let's go ahead and just move on to uh, number eight. Number eight is fake antivirus. And it is blocked. Number nine. Looks like more fake antivirus. I can tell by the way they're named because I see this all the time when I go out and work on clients. blocked. And number 10 is an exploit. No, actually it, ex it redirected us to a Trojan that's been reported as unsafe. Let me grab one more URL. Okay, not too many URLs out there tonight. I've got one more. Um, I think this is an exploit. indeed and it wants to run something but since I don't since uh, I'm looking at this domain it's just obviously random and crazy that CN this is obviously malicious so I can go ahead and close that so I hope you enjoyed the, the Internet Explorer 8 uh, smart screen filter demo um, if you know anybody in your family who is stuck using Internet Explorer 8 and loves, or Internet Explorer and uh, just loves Internet Explorer, a lot of, a lot of uh, my clients do, probably 80%, uh, have never even heard of Firefox, don't know what it is. Um, if I say Chrome, they'll look at me cross-eyed. They have no idea. They just know Internet Explorer because it's what comes with their PC. So get everybody to know on this new version of Internet Explorer and... Um, help out help uh, keep everyone safe so uh, that's it for the smart screen filter demo I think it was a huge success I've only uh, seen maybe two or three Trojans come through it um, otherwise it's been completely awesome so of course you should always run Internet Explorer 8 with uh, some form of antivirus or um, some form of hips something like that so anyway Talk to you guys later. I'm going to go ahead and upload this. See ya.